Hey there, welcome back. I'm Ron Mullet. And in this video, the second in a series of this china cabinet build, I'm going to be building the drawers. The boxes are going to be made of half inch maple plywood and I'm going to dovetail them. The drawer fronts are re-sawn and book matched to get this beautiful flowing grain across the front of this cabinet. So I hope you'll stick around. Let's get started. I'm using half inch maple plywood for the drawer boxes. I'll first cut these to their finished dimensions on the table saw. I'm going to dovetail the drawer together. I'm going to be using this quarter cable 12 inch capacity dovetail jig. I'll show you how that works in a minute. First of all, I have to mark the inside of each drawer part. What this dovetail jig consists of is the base clamps here and clamps here. I've got the front of the drawer and the left side of the drawer clamped in here. The router has a half inch router bit in it with a collar on it and the template that the router will follow fits down on here in these it's on there and then that gets tightened up. Okay, let's see how that turned out. Take this out. I think what I'll do is I'll put this up here, make it a little bit easier to see. Yeah, I think that'll work. All right, I've got all the dovetails cut on all the pieces. I've cut a groove for the bottom of the drawer. What I'm going to use is a piece of underlayment. I got this at Home Depot. It's about 3 16 inch thick. It's really inexpensive and it has a nice grain on it. There it is, a nice tight drawer. This is the board I'm going to use for the drawer fronts. As you can see, it has beautiful grain and it just doesn't stop. What I'm going to do is resaw it. I want to take a second and show you how I find the center of this and mark this so that I can set it on my bandsaw to resaw this exactly down the center. First of all, I just take a pencil and just eyeball, I think that's the center. Then I take a square, small square, and put it over to the line, tighten it down. Now then, I take my square and my pencil and draw a line on this side, from this side. And then I'll do the same thing from this side. Between these two lines I just put is the exact center. But that line is wide enough, I can put it against my bandsaw blade and know exactly where the center is. Before I finish the drawer fronts, I'm going to put the final detail on the drawer boxes. The drawer boxes are finished and the next thing I'm going to do is put some veneer tape. This is maple veneer tape. It comes on a roll. I'm going to put that on the top edge of the plywood to cover up the plywood edge. I've made this little holder here that holds that on there. I can clamp this to the bench and then I can just pull this off and press it on there with an iron. Thank you. 
The veneer is wider than the plywood, so this tool makes trimming very easy. A snip on each end and I'm finished. So I've got the drawer boxes finished. Now it's time to add the drawer fronts. This is one that I resawed and book matched together. And you can see this really nice line going through right through the center of this board. So what I've done is I've cut it apart and I've already cut this one to fit in the top. Now then I'm going to fit this one so that these grains will match all the way across these top two drawers. So in the second drawer, what I like to do is I use playing cards. When I can get two playing cards on each side, then that's the gap that I want all the way around. So if I look at the bottom, there's a gap right here. So what I'm going to have to do is trim the bottom here and the bottom there to get this to match this cross rail. And I do that with my block plane. So I've trimmed the bottom edges on the outside here. Yep, that's good. No gap here. Now I have to concentrate on the top. You see a little bit of a gap there, a little bit of a gap there. So I'm going to have to work on the center of the top to get it fit in there. So I've trimmed it and I've got four playing cards at each place. So I've got equal distance all the way around. What is nice is when these two get together, and that beautiful grain from one drawer front to the other that just kind of flows just really, really makes me happy. So there you have it. Cabinet's finished. Don't have any drawer pulls on yet because I just don't know what drawer pulls I'm going to use yet. The next video going to build a top cabinet. It's going to have double glass doors on it and the panels on the side of it just like this one. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and please subscribe. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. I'll see you on my next one and enjoy your woodworking.